Hi, I'm Streaky, and today I'm reviewing the ATC 150S. I think it's that. So, what do I say about the ATC 150? Now, uh, I've reviewed quite a lot of speakers in my time. I like hearing different speakers, I'm into it. Uh, but I've never heard a set of ATCs before, which is, I think, quite mental because everyone that I speak to and talk to them about the ATCs now that I've had them a couple of weeks says uh, blah blah oh yeah yeah oh ATCs are oh, I've just never listened to any in the whole years and years that I've been doing this and um, so ATC sent me some down because the main reason was I started to notice that a lot of mastering places were starting to use them especially Sterling Sound in New York who obviously they start doing something it's pricks your ears up um, so I mean looking at them they I mean, they're big old monsters. These these are these are pretty big. I know they do do them in a bigger size as well. They're 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 quite deep. My arm length deep. Weigh a ton. They're difficult to get in here. Um, and to look at, I don't think they're much really. They're quite seventies looking. I think in a in a kind of. I mean, this base situation is just re reminiscent of say Notting Hill Carnival bass reggae system. Um, and that's the kind of look and feel, but I guess, you know, retro style is fine, you know. I don't think it's, it wasn't that appealing to me, but since I've had them in here, they've grown on me in their looks, and I've got quite into them, and quite into that kind of rawness of them, rather than being all flashy. It's kind of nice, like, a, you know, I'm into classic cars, and it's that kind of appeal, really. So, um, everyone I speak to talks to me about the mid-range. So... When I first got these in, um, I was listening, the, the pair I had before, I was listening, they had a sub on them. So I was thinking, oh my God, these are going to blow me away. They're huge, you know, they're massive things. I, I you know, I'm not monitoring, I'm monitoring and say about a two meter um, triangle, say. So I thought they were going to knock my socks off. But turning them on on first listen, they, they weren't as bassy as I thought they were going to be. They was, in fact, the, there was less bass. I was listening to a subsystem, as I say, and that seemed to have more low lows in it. Um, and I thought at first, this is like missing. I had to check them. Like, is that on? Is it, is, have, I got, have I not switched something? Because I could see it said bass and mid, you know, looking at those LEDs and thinking, is the bass on? You know, it just doesn't sound like it's very bassy, but that was more me getting accustomed to, to the sound. And... Um, and I noticed that Sterling Sound have actually got the bigger pair and they've also added a sub pair as well. So that's quite interesting. So I think maybe that, that might be something to do with what I was hearing. And um, maybe they do need a, a lower sub. But, you know, they're, you know for my room, they're, they're absolutely fine, to be fair. When I've got used to them, they just sound quite balanced across the whole top to bottom. They don't sound like they're lacking um, they sound they sound right. I think that you know yeah they're not boomy but that's okay. You know when you get used to them that's fine. They're not you know they're not loads of low end like PMCs are a lot of low end. Um, they're a lot bright as well. I mean that but that's a different story. But you know they're not that kind of um, aggressive low end should I say? It's, it's the the low end is super tight. Um, and really together when you get used to it it's really together and really tight i really liked that um the mids uh going back to those are something else i mean there is just ridiculous the 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 width of it and the clarity of the mids and i think it's a it's a very english thing or a very british thing should i say to have to to be worried about the mids i think when a lot of people master in england it's that kind of sound we've got that kind of gritty mid sound that we're very into that that's the kind of signature i would say of english uh, mastering or just the english sound in general um, bands going back in the day and uh and americans are, are, are much smoother and a lot more kind of bass orientated um i you know from my experience but so this really suits that kind of sound it's got that kind of really open big not hard in any way at all just the best mids i've heard on a speaker of this kind it's really listenable 
I mean, it's one of those things that you just plow through your record collection again because you're hearing things that you haven't heard or or it's just the they're a joy to listen to. They they you know they engulf you. They they're there. They're not too wide where they're taking over the the space and they're giving you you know they're giving you a lot of information, but it doesn't feel like it's overloading you with information. They're just very easy to listen to. Some speakers I've listened to and reviewed, they just seem to give you too much and you don't know where you are when you're working on them. It, it's, it's too much and you just kind of, I don't know, you get lost a bit and you have to go back and stop. These are really simple to work on. They just, the, the sound field just is engulfing and but not over, over in, in, into your head too much, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But, so yeah, I think you can tell I like the mids. Um, the tweeters, yeah, really nice, not harsh, um, not super open, not as open as, say, the heads or something, or that kind of ribbony. It's not ribbony, I know, before you comment, but that kind of sound where it's, like, really open, but they're open enough. They're, they're what you want. They're, they're, they're kind of smooth and rounded off, and, you know, these speakers are about the mid and the tightness and that kind of that low that low mid and and for me low mid's really important in music that's what gives you the feel that's what you know gets you in the ribs and and then you you get that kind of warmth from the low end and for me that is perfect so i would say currently these would definitely be at the top of my list for large speakers i've not listened to the smaller ones i'd love to listen to the even bigger ones um i guess i'll have to go somewhere to do that um, because I don't think my back could handle lifting them into the studio. But, um, and maybe the small ones, I mean, if they've got this mid-range, uh, even if the bass is smaller, I imagine if you added subs and stuff, which you could do, then as long as you've got this kind of setup, and I don't know if they do that in the smaller ones, I'm guessing they do, um, then I think, yeah, killer. Yeah, really nice. Uh, so, I think I've... Uh, over egg the cake as much as I need to on these. I've enjoyed having them. They've been really nice. I've, I, I'm, you know, I'll be sad to see them go um, when I get them replaced with something else. I may keep them. Who knows? We'll see. I like them a lot. They, you know, they're, it's just a really, really lovely sound, really easy to listen to. Um, if you made it this far, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you've got any um, comments please let me know, any questions, anything you want me to review, anything you want to know about mastering or sound in general then I can help you with that hopefully and uh, please go to streaky.com where you can see more about me and if you want me to master your music there is a discount code below for making it this far in the video so uh, until next time thanks for watching, bye.